This is Monday Motivation with Melissa, episode number 52. Welcome to the Melissa Ambrosini Show. I'm your host, Melissa, best selling author of Mastering Your Mean Girl and Open Wide. And I'm here to remind you that love is sexy, healthy is liberating, and wealthy isn't a dirty word. Each week, I'll be getting up close and personal with thought leaders from around the globe, as well as your weekly dose of motivation so that you can create epic change in your own life and become the best version of yourself possible. Are you ready, beautiful? Today's episode is an experiment and one that I would love your help with. So recently, I've been thinking about how else I can inject into your week a dose of inspiration and motivation. So I came up with the idea of a short five to 10 minute episode each Monday to get your week off to an epic start. I also wanted to find a way to entrain your brain to the core weekly message so that it effortlessly becomes part of your mindset for that week. Week, which is why I have teamed up with my musician husband and his sound engineer to create audio soundscapes that will be playing in the background during each episode of Monday Motivation with Melissa. Now, these aren't just any normal soundscapes. They are actually super sophisticated, world-first subliminal audio techniques such as binaural beats, isochronic tones, and solfeggio frequencies. Yes, I know it all sounds super fancy pants, but all you need to do is just be present and let each weekly episode penetrate deep into your subconscious and stay there, giving you instant, powerful and lasting personal transformation. You will notice that there is some space at the beginning and end where it's just the audio playing. I like to call them Zen tones. Now this is intentional and we have designed each episode this way to give you some time to get into the zone and receive the message. This is the sort of technology that can cost hundreds of dollars, but it's all here for you each week for free. How cool is that? Now, here's how you can help me. I would love to do these episodes each week for you, but the only way I'm going to know if this is something that you want is for you to tell me and shout it from the rooftops. You can do that on social media. So if you enjoy this episode, please take a screenshot of the episode and share it on your Instagram or Facebook. Make sure you tag me, of course, and use the hashtag the Melissa Ambrosini show so that I can see it. Does that all sound good, beautiful? Awesome. Okay, let's dive into the first ever episode of Monday Motivation with Melissa. You are here to shine, not suffer. For those of you who have read my first book, Mastering Your Mean Girl, will know that in 2010, I hit rock bottom and ended up in hospital. Now, this was where my whole life changed. But what some of you may not know is before that moment, I was deeply suffering. I felt like life was a punish and that God was against me. I would even say things like, why me? Or what's the point? I may as well give up. I was in so much pain physically, emotionally, and mentally because I was choosing to suffer. 
Now, I didn't know that at the time, but with hindsight, I can now see that suffering was the path that I was choosing because I didn't know there was any other way. And you don't know what you don't know, but now I do know. And what I know for sure is that I, we, didn't come here to suffer. We came here to shine. Now, let me say that again. We didn't come here to suffer. We came here to shine. We didn't come here to suffer. We came here to shine. Look, pain is inevitable. People you love will leave their physical body. You may not get that promotion you really, really wanted, and you may get the diagnosis, but it's how you respond to these common life experiences that matter the most. Do you let them tear you down or do you let them help you grow? You don't have to suffer, my sweet friend, because suffering is a choice. And it's a stinky, boring choice, that's for sure. Now, that doesn't mean you can't feel sad, angry, or frustrated when things happen. By all means, feel all the emotions that arise within you and feel them fully. I sure do. But then, choose to let it go. Choose to come back to the present moment and choose to not suffer and choose to shine again. You came here to shine, to be love and to spread your love out into the world. That's your role here on earth. There may not be a next week. There may not be a tomorrow. So let's live as though today is our last. Let's love like today is our last. Let's Open wide and share our truth because you matter and the world needs you and your unique gifts. Choosing to shine and not suffer is a daily commitment that I make to myself every single morning before I open my eyes. Now what I do is I say to myself, Today, I choose to shine. Now, this is your homework for the next week. Before you open your eyes every single morning and before you get out of bed every single morning, I want you to do this. It'll take two seconds. I want you to say to yourself out loud or in your head, whatever feels better for you. And I want you to say this. Today, I let go of suffering and I choose to shine. I choose to shine. I choose to shine. I choose to shine. Do this every single day for the next week and feel how that feels in your body when you go out into your day with that as your starting mantra. Share with me how you go. I cannot wait to hear how you go shining and remember that you didn't come here to suffer. You came here to shine. Shining is your birthright and it is a choice. So let's let go of the suffering. Let's choose to shine. If you don't like what you're currently choosing, guess what? You can choose again. That is the beautiful thing about freedom of choice is if we don't like what we've created, we are the master of our destiny. We are the artist behind the canvas and we can choose what we want to create. It's our choice. And if you don't like what you have chosen, my darling, sweet friend, you can choose again and again and again. You don't have to suffer. You can shine. Choose to shine, not to suffer. Choose to shine, not 
to suffer. Choose to shine, not to suffer. I love you so much. Have a beautiful week shining and let me know how you go with your homework.